This is crazy. This is so crazy. Something else you might have noticed about Trebum is that their mouths actually look like butts. Oh, fire siren head. You are gone, champ. Don't want to miss a video? Subscribe to the channel and stay notified. How's it going, champs? We're playing Tiny Town. This place is absolutely full of monsters. You guys know that. We've got horrifying looking dudes like cartoon rabbits. Things like him should not exist. We've even got cartoon spider cat or whatever it is that we decided to call him. I figured there's so many monsters in this place. The only thing that could destroy this place or all of these monsters would be a big giant cylinder. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna build the eternal cylinder. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you've seen my other series, the eternal cylinder, where a giant cylinder comes and destroys literally everything on a planet and it just turns it to just flat. It just makes everything flat. That's what we're gonna be doing. This is gonna be really hard. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna involve deleting a lot of things just like this. Bang, bang. Bang, all these dudes, all these dudes are gone. See you later, Cartoon Cat. Now, before you guys jump into the comments and start giving me a bunch of hate, I have backed all this up, all right? It's backed up. There's something a little bit refreshing about just deleting all these things. It's like spring cleaning. Whoa, look at all that smoke. Oh, there's so much of it. There is so much of it. How long is this even gonna take me? I don't know. It feels like it's gonna take forever. I'm gonna draw the line where I'm actually gonna put this thing. I reckon right down here. I'm just gonna try and delete just the road so then I can start building the land under it. Oh, these guys are gone. Anything on this side is actually gonna get deleted. Oh, this is crazy. This is so crazy. It hurts to do it. It really does. But at the same time, it kind of feels good. It's like picking off a scab or something. <laughs> oh, I just deleted a kangaroo. Am I even Australian? For some reason, I still had Jack Jacksepticeye stood next to that kangaroo. It made like literally no sense whatsoever. Oh, delete, delete, delete. In a way, when you think about it, the internal cylinder is a little bit like an SCP. It's this crazy like thing, you know, machine almost, that just rolls and rolls and rolls and just flattens, practically deletes everything in its wake. What kind of ground am I gonna have on the other side? Maybe some kind of racetrack ground, cause it's gotta be brown looking, brown ground. The problem with that ground is it looks like you could grow some flowers in it or something. I need something that just looks gray and cracked. Space ground? Nope. Zombie, there is no zombie ground. Military ground, nah. Yeah, maybe we just go with dirt. Just straight up brown. Just a big strip because everything on this side of the place is gonna be this color. This is gonna be one of the wildest things I've ever done in Tiny Town yet. All right, there we go, there we go. You know what I might even do? I'm gonna build some Trebim. Some of those guys from the Eternal Cylinder. I'm gonna put them right down here like they're running away from it. This is gonna be kind of cool to build. All right, we're probably gonna need some shapes. Let's do, uh, let's do a, ble a blue one. I was gonna say green and blue at the same time. Let's do a bleen one. They are sphere shaped. All right, and they've also got a hose face. Where's the blue hose bits? Aha, hose bit, okay. Let's go like this. Okay, we'll get a couple more hose bits. There we go. Got a little bit of a bit of a snout going on. They're basically like a tiny elephant if you cut the back of them off. Like half an elephant. Which is, I guess, just a faint. Something else you might have noticed about Trebim is that their mouths actually look like butts. So let's let's just do that as well. Some of you guys are like, Finn, what the heck is a Trebim? That's because you haven't watched my Eternal Cylinder series. And you should. It's such a good game. Okay, now let's give them some feet. All right, get some little feet going on. I reckon that's probably a good way to get their feet sort of shaped. We'll just use some cones, kind of like that. Give them some little ball toes. Oh yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Let's get some eyes on this dude. Yes, eyes. And then he's gonna look like a Trevor. Just you wait. Let's give this one green eyes. <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. He looks like one. Go ahead and rate my Trebim out of 63. Does he score a solid 63? I don't think it's pretty. I think it's pretty good. 
You guys can tell what it is by looking at it. Put some rings around his eyes as well. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like that guy. He's going to get crushed by the cylinder. It's going to happen. Okay, we need to delete some more stuff. So let's just zoom this out a little bit. A little Might be a little bit more easy to delete if we do it this way. If we zoom out. Oh, man. This is going to take so long. There's just like punching holes through everything at the moment. There goes our ice siren head. It reminds me of that tiny town build that I did where Thanos came and snapped half of everything away. <laughs> oh, how are we looking? We're getting somewhere. I'm leaving some things behind because I'm going to be using them in uh, like the next bit when I actually get the cylinder in there. I'd like to actually have some stuff. You know what I mean? Like looking like it's being crushed or something like that. I am going to get rid of zombie siren head though and all these bits. Oh, dude, the game is actually running running faster as I keep doing this. It's fantastic. Oh, do I delete Jelly Mouth? I'm definitely deleting Rick. Rick is gone. Not that he's dead or anything like that or crushed by the cylinder. I just think that Rick would have got out of here, like, you know, straight away. He probably knew it was coming. It was like, dude, there's totally a cylinder coming. I'm getting out of here. That's exactly how Rick sounds, by the way. Give me a couple of these tentacles. I'm gonna use those tentacles. I'll think they'll look pretty good when I get my cylinder in. Oh, fire siren head. You are gone, champ. Watch this. I'm gonna delete him from head to toe. That didn't work very well. It's taking a million years to do this. I think I've been going at it for about 50 minutes now. Okay, let's grab a couple of these trees. Let's kind of put them like this. Just so like they're kind of, get rid of that. Just kind of like crush them out on the road a bit. There we go, just to make this look a little bit more legit. Oh, there's a Mountie strapped to this Siren Head's leg. Okay, I'm gonna get this Mountie and I'm gonna put him down here. Yes, this Mountie is being crushed by the cylinder. Put him about there, I reckon, it'd be perfect. Oh my God, I think I have done it. I think I have finally done it. Okay, let's grab this guy. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. This is gonna be my siren head that's actually being crushed. And he's gonna be kind of like this. There we go, let's get his neck stem. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I don't even need legs. <laughs> or he doesn't need legs, I need legs. I know I do. Nice. Okay, we'll get some tentacles. I'll have some tentacles kind of coming out this way. Oh dudes, this is looking really good. Let's put this car like it's crushed up, getting smacked up by the cylinder. Everything along this line kind of has to be coming in on the right angle. All right, that'll be on an angle like that. This building will probably be, I don't even know if it would really work like that. Maybe if I had the diner part sticking up like that, that kind of might work once I put the cylinder in. I'm not sure. Most of these zombies have to go. See you, champs! This is one way to end the zombie apocalypse. Just flatten them with a big giant space cylinder thing. It's like basically a rolling pin. Nice. Okay, now I need to build the land all over this side. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't end. I wonder if I could build the big giant chompy monster. Oh, how would I even do that? I would need like half a circle. Do I have any objects here I could use? Well, he definitely has eyes, we know that much. Uh, what else does he have? He has teeth. I think there are teeth here. What have we got? We do have teeth. Okay. Uh, we would need to build some lips. He has lips. Why did I just grab the poo? I don't, he doesn't... Don't need that. Ah, oh, dude. It's almost like this. Almost. If you could put eyes like this, right? One eye there. And then one eye there. You've almost got the chompy guy. He's just not purple. That's the only problem. Yeah, so I, th I think I made something that's too terrifying. <laughs> Dude, that is so creepy. It just needs legs. Oh, better yet. <laughs> Man, this thing is scary as. I don't even really know what I was going for there. I mean, I do know I was trying to make the chompy guy, but I ended up with this terrifying creature. Oh, we need to get Meat Horse. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let's get Meat Horse and kind of have him, like, coming out this way. There we go. And we'll get some of his noodly parts. Just extend them. Get another one. And then one like that. So he's, like, being crushed. 
Yes, yes, that is awesome. Okay, I filled my dirt in. Everything's looking incredibly dirty and barren and flat. That's what we want. Completely flat. The world's been flattened. It's now a flat earth. We need to delete this stuff. Oh God, meat horse. The guy is everywhere. Okay, now we can put in our cylinder. Let's do it. I don't even know if this thing's gonna fit. I made this cylinder myself, all right? Yep, it took me a long time. Took me a really long time to make a cylinder. Hang on a second, where is it? Where's it gone? This is also a cylinder, but this is not it. This is the broom. It's not called the eternal broom. Just sweep everything up. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there it is. It's right here. It's so, like, thin, it was really hard to see. Okay, um... Wow, it's super long. It's exactly what I wanted. All right, hold on a second. Does it sit perfectly flat on the ground? It doesn't. What? Why is it like floating above the ground slightly? That's really strange. Okay, okay, let's make this thing big. It's the wrong way. Let's go like this. And then, whoa, I feel like I've got the world's biggest sword. <laughs> I could trip so many people over with this thing. All right, here we go. We're about to get massive. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, it's so wobbly. It's all over the place. Okay, how big do we want this cylinder to be? Oh, there we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Got to move it a bit closer. Oh, it's not. Is it on the ground? Oh, I think it is. Bring it this way. Bring it this way. Oh, dude, yes. Yes, everything's crushed. Is it actually touching? It is slightly hovering. Why? Why would you do that? Okay, I think that there's pretty good. I'm gonna have to bring these people out a little bit more. Let's grab them, just to make it look like they're being crushed. The cylinder is quite big. There we go, just pull them out there a little bit. Yeah, nice. This guy's kind of getting shoved over. Let's kind of move this van a little bit. Here we go again. <laughs> uh, so much more funnier now. Let's go like that. These zombies are on the ground. Sort of getting thrown away. Oh, meat horse doesn't really make sense. I wasn't 100% sure how it was going to make it, you know, look like, like where the thing was actually going to be coming out to. But there we go, that's pretty good. Alright, these guys are making a run for the cylinder as well. That's good, these lampposts don't make sense. Get my tentacles out there like that. There we go, my few tentacle bros. Yeah, that looks cool. Whoa, I can't wait to see what it looks like when I kind of look over the cylinder, you know what I mean? Let's bend this tree a bit. How's our siren head looking? Oh, he's actually kind of looking alright. Let's just move his body a little bit more like that. Put his head there. And then we'll move those to there. Have his arm like that. Yeah, cool. Look at that. It does look like he's being crushed by a giant cylinder. I love it. There we go. We've basically kind of done it now. We just spin the whole world around and look at this. Whoa, yes. The entire town looks like it's been crushed. Now, if we just look up over the other side. Whoa! <laughs> That's so awesome! To remember what it looked like beforehand, and now it looks like it's just been flattened by this giant rolling pin of doom. Wow, that's amazing. I don't know whether I should keep it going or not, or whether I should just save this world as like, you know, an example of what we could do with a big giant cylinder. <laughs> we could just flatten everything. Get rid of all the stuff. Wow, that is so awesome. Look at that. Look at it from this side. Yeah, everything is gone. If there's anything crazy you guys want to see me try in Tiny Town, let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time.